Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody has been having a wonderful day. So I've been getting some comments lately about um, people wanting to see long drive related content because obviously you guys know I do a lot of golfing stuff, but I figured I'd show you guys a typical training session for me, especially right now that I'm training specifically on a certain swing mechanic. I've been doing a lot of work on my mechanics lately, really grinding with my um, coach Bobby Peterson the last couple of weeks. Because what I've started to get into a habit of lately, my swing has gotten pretty short at the top. And I've also had a problem where my spine tilt's gotten way out of control. So it's causing me to hit way up on the ball, not get a lot of distance out of the speed I'm creating, which is the problem I ran into at the season opener about uh, two, a week and a half ago, Mesquite. I seen the ball crazy high. I'm talking like 270 feet in the air. Um, and obviously when you hit it that high, the ball's just not gonna go as far as it should. So I'll work, I'll kind of show you guys what I'm doing, how I train, and what I'm doing to correct a few flaws in my swing right now. I figured it'd be a really cool video to show you guys, and hopefully you guys take some stuff from it. So without further ado, let's get into it. I've already done some stretching and some warming up. So basically I'll do like some stretching on the ground with my lower body, and um, I'll stretch out my hands and wrists, because the hands and wrists are very important in the, in the long drive swing to create a lot of speed. And that's actually one of the things I'm specifically working on is getting the wrist a little more active um, to create a little more effort to speed. So I've gotten loosened up, all that stuff's good to go. We got our track men set up. And what I will do is I will go straight into my first swing with a driver. I won't waste time with wedges or irons because I'm working on my driver. I'm trying to get that locked in. So Pink Power, this is a LD20 plus uh, Patterson, sorry, LD20 Patterson. Um, pink collar, I think looks pretty cool. Obviously the Aerojet with Cobra. This is my first thing out of the gates. It's always nice to see what the first thing produces, just to kind of get a feel for how fresh you are. So we'll get this started and um, we'll start getting rock and roll. So that's 134, 196 ball speed. So that's, you know, that's not too bad. And I'm sorry if you guys have a little trouble seeing it, but we can probably do just have you guys look at that spot. That can screen right there. So that's 134, 196. And I won't be going over this with every shot. I just want to show you guys what I typically start out at, just so you guys get a point of a frame of reference. So that's a pretty good number to start at. That means I'm fairly fresh, which makes a lot of sense because um, I just came back from training with my coach, and it's been a day and a half since uh, I've swung a club. So I've hit like 800 balls in the last four or five days. I've really been working on my swing. So we'll get into it, we'll keep swinging. What I'll probably do is like, as I'm ramping up and I have something I want to explain or I'm going through, I'll have the camera turn back on again. And I'll probably show like a brief montage of a couple shots and we'll just keep working through that. So I'll hit, hit a few more swings. I typically hit about 20 to 30 swings to um, get loose. And then we'll start the file. And I typically hit about 150 balls or so throughout a session. So we're gonna keep getting loose and um, we'll pick it up once I start, finish my warm up, and we'll go from there. All right guys, so I just hit about 20 balls, kinda got loose. Sitting right in the upper 140s right now, 148 to 150. Had a couple 222s, 221s, about what I'd expect. Again, just kinda getting loose, not really doing anything too crazy. So the first 30 or 40 balls of this session, I'm actually not gonna do my rock, because what I'm trying to do is take away a lot of my movement with my body because what I'm trying to do is get these hands to work. So the big thing I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to create 225 ball speed without really doing too much with my body. The reason I want to remove my body from the equation is because it's going to force my hands and my wrist to become extremely efficient with releasing the hands, with releasing the club. That's exactly what I want to be focused on, so that when I do put the body into it, that efficiency with the hands and wrists is just going to be amplifying even more speed. So I hit a couple here. Again, with my focus, I'm trying to, right about here, let these hands break so I can create a lag, and then I'm trying to turn, just, you know, nominal turning of the body. I'm not trying to fire anything with the body. So I'm laying it to the top, break, and then just turn and burn and let those hands un uncock and really release a tremendous amount of speed. So what I, the bad habit I got into doing 
especially with all the golf I've been playing, is my, my wrists have gotten pretty locked up. They get from here and they stop, they don't do that. So I lose a lot of my, um, my lag and a lot of the angular momentum that I'm able to create. So I'm gonna do a couple here. What I'm really looking for is my backswing to be here, not here. That's my biggest focus. So we'll hit a couple for you guys and you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. So make a couple swings. So that's 150.7, quite a bit high in the face. Um, and again, I apologize if you guys have trouble seeing the numbers. The way the lighting is, you have to kind of have it be a little darker if you want to see the numbers. Um, so that was 150.7. If I caught that center punch, probably would have been 223, 224. So that's pretty close where I want to be. And I'm sure you guys have noticed there's a little bit of that at the top. Now, it's something that's very foreign to me at this point because I've kind of lost that hinge over the last couple of months. So, Again, something I'm really, really working on. I'm actually gonna start a new file so that I can track my averages. But this is just, you know, this is where the sport is. This is, if you wanna stay the top guy in the sport, this is just what you have to do. And there's a lot of minor stuff here that if you don't stay on top of, you're gonna get past, it's just that simple. So enough talking. I'll probably hit like another seven or eight more and smash them up together so you guys can see in rapid fire. Yeah, I'll kind of explain to you what I'm trying to do after this, and we'll go from there. Just kind of uh, racked off about eight or nine balls there. You come over here, you'll see. You see, I hit. Looks like eight balls. Current averages is uh, 220.4, 150.8. Haven't really lined up any in the middle of the space just yet, but um, that tells me my numbers are solid. I had a couple 152s, so with that effort level, and that's really good. That means my hands are working pretty well throughout the swing. Um, I do want them to work a little better. I'm, I can get a little more out of it. Um, but that's kind of the gist of this. So I will do this for another probably 30 reps or so. Um, and again, this is not super high effort. My, the entire purpose of this part of the hitting session is to try to get to a certain ball speed with minimal effort to train my efficiency of speed creation. So that when I do have more effort and I have the adrenaline, I'm in tournaments, that speed goes to the roof with effort, with, without a ton of perceived effort. So this is an extremely critical part of my long drive training because speed is only useful if you can control it. And so what I'm trying to do is develop a really, really, really high speed reserve that I can control and that I can recruit during tournaments. So I won't bore you guys with the next 25 swings. So when you see me next, I'll be moving into the next phase of what I'm working on. They'll be after another 25 reps of this. If I have any highlights, I'll probably show you some of the better numbers over the next 25 swings as I continue to ramp up. My numbers will creep up just by getting loose. But um, yeah, this is the first part of the training session. And um, I might even have my coach call in and FaceTime in and take a look at my swing a little bit too. But when you guys see me next, it'll probably be me talking about my best numbers from the next 25 swings and then telling you guys what I'm gonna whirl into next. It's gonna involve the body movement to get more power to the body. And then to finish up, I'm gonna bring it all, to put it all together and do about 30 reps where I'm using the hands and the body the way I want. And then the last 20 to 30 swings will be pretty significant effort level for me, just to push speed a little bit towards the end. And then we'll wrap it up and um, we'll be done with the video, so. All right guys, so I'm about halfway through the um, 
first set stage, which is getting those hands to set a little better. I'll actually put up in my, on the um, screen, a split screen, you can see what was the slower one versus the faster one. And this is what I mean by, and this is so important for me. If you look here at these numbers, so these were like, you know, last, last several. And I realized when I had my father take a video of me that my hands weren't setting very good and I got them to set more and look at what it did to my club speed. So that's a good two mile an hour jump, um, roughly. And that's just the first four or five and it was instantly a jump. And as I said, I'll put like on the screen, a split screen of the two swings at the top. And you guys can probably tell which one is faster, which one is slower. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, this is definitely something I keep on, on the swivel for is stuff like this. So just something I want to throw in there. I got another 15, 20 swings to go and then we'll start with the next phase of my training. So just wanted to bring that up. All right guys, so I just finished that first stage of um, training. Feeling okay. I'm not quite doing it that I want to, but at the same time, it's important for me to move on to the other stuff I want to work on because I only hit about 150 per session. So you want to make sure that if you're just not quite getting it, it's okay. There's gonna be another session in a couple days. So you just gotta keep building on it. So I ended up topping out at like, I think 223, 224. My fastest club speed is 152 and a half, which is, which is not too bad for just kind of using the hands and just trying to create momentum like that. So the next thing I'm gonna work on, I'm probably just gonna spend the next 30 to 40 swings on it. So I got into a bad habit of this at Mesquite. Yeah, what that did, it caused me to then hang back at impact. So what I'm working on is coming off and back with my right pectoral muscle and right latissimus lat muscle. So by coming up and off, I'm gonna displace more of my weight, which is gonna allow me to create more speed through the ball. So that's gonna be my main focus over these next 30 to 40 swings, really coming up and off that ball. Um, and then after about 30 or 40 swings, I'm gonna put it all together in another 30 or 40. Ideally, I'd like to average 223, 224. That'd be a pretty good spot to average. Um, and then we'll wrap the session up. So I'm gonna, I'll hit a quick seven to 10 balls for you guys. So you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll probably skip ahead so you guys can see me putting it all together. We'll hit a few more and then we'll wrap it up. I'll start a new file as well. This is also where I'm going to start my rock. So it might take a couple of swings to get locked into the rock because it's a different motion. So. So that gives you kind of a taste of what I'm trying to focus on. Really trying to come off that ball a little bit more with my trail pectoral muscle. So I'm gonna hit probably another 30 or so. And if anything comes up, any highlights, I'll uh, let you guys know. But if not, I'll, we'll pick this up when I hit like my last 30 trying to put all of it together. So we'll get to it. All right, guys, so I just had ball 90. Had a couple 227s and a 228. Last one was 225.8. So I'm liking the progression of my speed. That just goes to show how much pulling off that, uh, that ball does for you. Because you guys saw my numbers were like low 220s earlier. So now that's what I'm working. I'm really trying to pull off this ball. And I'm just starting to kind of think about those hands again. I don't want to think about it too much. I want this to be my main focus. I'm going to hit about 10 more. And then we're going to jump into the last 50 where I'm going to be putting all of it together. And probably the last 25, I'll give 99% effort um, to what we can get up to. So we're still going to keep working on it. I'll hit another 10 for you guys just to finish off the set so you can see what I've been doing. So that's 154.3, 227.3. Again, that's really just trying to focus on up and off the ball. Um, and what that's allowing me to do is sling the club and just create a ton of speed. So, should get really close to 30. I have been working out a lot. I'm pretty, I don't want to say I'm not sore, but my muscles are pretty tired. So, probably won't get much past 230, but that's totally fine. I'd rather save my energy for to have my speed at events. So, 
keep trying to do that same thing. Hold on the face. And as I said, I'm holding my average right around 224, 225, about where I want to be. In the last 50, I'm going to try to push that up to 226. And I'm leaving these last 10 shots uncut because I want you guys to see the pace that I'm in these shots. So it's not just me cutting it to the next shot. So you guys can actually see how fast I go through these swings. So we've got five more balls left. So I said my high so far is 228. Let's see if we can get another one of those to pop. And then I'll go into the last 50. 25 will be at 97, 98% the last 25 will be at 99. speed 156 so solid number to hit a little on the toe but uh, it's a good good shot good spot to hit right now probably won't see too many of those today probably be seeing more in the 154 55 range realistically just because not really amped up or prepped for max speeds today Two more. Really just taking these last two to really try to come off that ball. And just so you guys can see face on, I'm really trying to go boom, boom with this chest. There's 228. 0.1 faster than my high so far, which is good. 155 to 28. I actually left a little bit of speed in the table there. I caught that a hair on the deal. So I probably, if I catch it perfect, can just crack 230 right now. But it's a good spot to be. I still have 50 balls left. And I'm not quite going at it as hard as I can. So do one more. So I just need to note there, I didn't quite come off the ball as much as I wanted there. So you can see my club speed drop by about two miles an hour. Um, I actually hit that more in the center, but my ball speed was lower because I didn't create that speed. Had I hit the ball that center with the shot before, it might have been 230, so hard to say. But, so now, that was ball 100, so we're gonna start a new file. This is where we try and put it all together. This is the tough part, because it's, it's fairly easy to uh, do all of this Thinking about just one thing. So as I as you guys saw earlier, it was the wrist. The last 50 balls has been coming off of it and away from it. So now what I'm going to be trying to do is coming off and away, and then also hinging and unloading. So this is where you're going to probably see a lot more misfits, just because I'm putting two things together and it's very difficult to do that at this speed. But the more reps I can do at that, these are the reps that count because these are reps trying to put those pieces together into a really good swing. So. 50 balls left. What I'll probably do is just show you highlights of those last 50, and then maybe I'll show you the last 10 before I'm done. So, see if we can get some good swings in, and really focus on um, coming off that ball a little better. So, what I'll do, I'll show you a montage of the first five, 
and then I'll just skip ahead to the last couple. So here we go. And again, this is more like 96, 97% effort. The last 25 or so, I'll really be giving it a lot more. So, let's see what we can get up to. to be expected with these all putting all these mechanics together bound to have a couple bad missets so it's definitely something I expect you can see 155.4 there the speed's definitely creeping up just missing a couple I'll hit one more and then if I get a couple highlights in the next 25, 30, I'll cut to that. If not, we'll cut to the last 10 and uh, see what we can get up to speed-wise. So here's one more. So I'm gonna miss it, 154. But we'll cut to um, the last couple um, and I'll show you a few highlights as well. So let's get to it. All right guys, so I just finished my first 25. Pretty good one to end on. 156.3, 228.5. This is a brand new head, like 226, 227 CT. It's just a little slow. But I like hitting brand new heads because it's the same feel you're going to get in competition. So, I mean, if this was a really hot head, 240 plus CT, that's probably 231, 230 and a half maybe. But, um, so we're going to hit 25 to 30 more. And it's going to be really close to 100% effort. I'm really going to be trying to extend that chest up and then get those hands hinging and create that speed. So. I think there's a good chance we'll hit 230. Um, I'll be very happy if I can hit 230 with one of the slower heads. Um, by the way, that's by design because I want them to last long. So these are good heads. So about 25 to 30 more. And we'll see what numbers we get up to. But this is where I really try to marry all these elements into one at full speed. So and by the way, I've actually cracked the ball during that set. So I had to toss that one. But uh, yeah, so got about 25 more. And um, I'll probably smash the last 10 together so you guys can see the last 10 and if I hit any good numbers in between that I'll show you guys that as well but averaging like 224 right now to 25 see if we can push that up to 226 so let's get to it all right all right guys so I'm, I'm down to my last 10 got finally cracked 231 that was ball 160 um, including warm-ups ball 140 not include warm-ups so as you can see 325.8 average 155.7 Plus the average is my last 10. I'm actually having my father record this on his phone because I need that music playing over there to keep this, keep this up. But this is how you build your speed towards the end. So honestly, I'm glad I cracked 230, but we'll give 232 or three a push on these last 10. Again, I'm, I've been working out a lot and muscle are pretty tight and sore. Um, we'll see how far we can push it. And one last thing to consider, this is a brand new head and heads that are brand new are slower. Um, so. That probably would be close to 234 if it was a brand new head, but I'm certainly happy with these speeds. So, 10 more guys. See if we can get another higher number than that. I'm gonna say, let's go for 233. I would say that's mission accomplished. This is, this is how you gain speed, this is how you get competitive in long drive. You've got to be able to hit at least 220 when you're in this phase. So this works for really anybody trying to gain speed as well, this whole process. So I'm going to let that music start up again and really time my adrenaline with these swings.
trying to get a little more centeredness of strike. I'm just, I'm just missing it just a hair. And for those wondering, it's a perfect smash factor. I want 56.4s in the neighborhood of 235. My highest ever is 236.2. I'll definitely make a push for that at some point in the next month or two. I'm very confident that I will hit 240 ball speed by June or July. So we'll definitely make a push for that at some point in the future. Good one to end on, but uh, yeah, basically, typically how a speed session goes. Uh, didn't quite have, you know, I wish, kind of wish I would have uh, come here with a slightly faster head, but that's not the point of this session. The point of this session is to work on ball striking, work on those two things, coming off with the chest, and then the hands hinging. I think that started to happen pretty well towards the end. So I ended up averaging. 156.2 on the club, 227.4 on the ball for the last 60 swings, which is pretty good. Um, I think I topped that like 231.9. But um, definitely in the next couple months, um, I'll come here with a head that's a little, little hotter, a little faster. And uh, we'll make a push for 237, 238. And I had a couple of club speeds in the 158.8 like range. So 240 is really not that far off. I need to gain maybe one more mile an hour of club head speed to get to 240. So let's get this very close to being in the tank. I just gotta get a little more speed. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It's kind of a different style of video. If you would like to see more of my training sessions like this, let me know. I'll take you guys inside what I'm doing. But uh, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.